Hey, what's up, science? I'm glad you guys could make it. Um, listen up. Got a couple things coming your way. One, easy day today. We only have two, two, count them, two pages to read. All right? Yep, still got five questions to answer. So that's why everything's in the Google Classroom. So relax, breathe. Also, remember, everything is due no later than uh, midnight on Sunday. All right? That does not mean shoot me a Snapchat if you have questions at 1159. Uh-uh. Not happening. Not going to answer those. I will block you. I'm fat and tired. Remember that. Um, so, without further ado, let's get busy. All right. The five questions that you're going to have to answer, they're also listed in the Google Classroom. What is the magnetic field? What pattern is made by magnetic lines of force around a bar magnet? How does a compass work? Mm. Four, how can you see the lines of force around a magnet? And five, where are magnetic lines of force closest? So keep that in mind. And without further ado, let's dive into it. A magnetic field surrounds all magnets. Pretty common sense stuff right there. A magnetic field is an area around a magnet in which magnetic forces can act. Although you cannot see magnetic fields, you can easily see their effects. Place a bar magnet under a sheet of paper, sprinkle, sprinkle iron filings on top of the paper. The filings will line up in a pattern of curving lines like those in the figure. Unfortunately, we can't do that because you guys are stuck there and I'm stuck here. So it is what it is. These lines are called lines of force. They are caused... They are caused by a magnetic field, and they show the field. The lines of force reach around the magnet from one pole to the other. The lines are closest together near the poles. That is where the field is the strongest, and the force is the greatest. So, when you look at these, look at this. We're on page 351, okay? Keep that in mind. Next, moving on to 352, and I have my coffee. You may be surprised to learn that the Earth itself is a giant bar magnet. That's my dog. He's going nuts. Good times. You may be surprised to learn that the Earth itself is a giant bar magnet. Like other magnets, Earth has magnetic poles. These magnetic poles are located around the geographic north and south poles. Earth's natural magnetism allows compasses to work. Pay attention here. The needle of a compass is a magnet too. It has a north pole and a south pole. They are located at opposite ends of the needle. Like magnetic poles repel each other, however, you can see in the figure that the, north pole mag uh, that the north magnetic pole of the Earth attracts the north pole of the compass. This happens because Earth's north magnetic pole is actually like the south pole of a magnet. I know it gets confusing. That's why I gave you guys the pages to read. So remember, opposites attract in these magnets. <coughs> uh, let's see here. But it's actually called the north magnetic pole because it is located near the geographic north pole. Earth's south magnetic pole is actually like the north pole of the magnet. Earth's magnetic field attracts and lines up the compass needle. The north pole of the magnet in a compass is attracted to the Earth's magnetic pole. As a result, it points north. So remember that, okay? Not too bad. Quick example for you. All right. Took these magnets off the fridge. Yes, that's right. Typical refrigerator magnets. So... Let's do it like this. Let's see if we can tell. If I hold this magnet here and go like this, I'm just kind of letting it dangle. You can see it move slightly. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's moving away because they're the same pole. See? You can feel it too. Most of you guys have done this before, but that's what those uh, those lines of force are. If you hold it right like that, 
and it'll push it to where it'll actually go together. But right there, you can't really force it. All right. Any questions? Uh, be sure to let me know via Snapchat or email. If it's a real instant question, you know, don't be afraid to shoot me a Snapchat. You guys are really good at that. Um, also, 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 do not forget that these are due no later than uh, 1159 on Sunday. So just because you have time doesn't mean you shouldn't uh, be getting it done. All right. Any questions, let me know. And in the meantime, be safe and sanitary. See you guys.